this is not the last major outbreak we're ever going to see. There's going to be more outbreaks, and there's going to be more epidemics. That's not a maybe. That's a given. How serious is this? Is this something that we need to be terrified of, or is this overblown, or how, how do you stand on this? Well, first of all, you have to understand the timing of it in the sense that it's just beginning. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. Now, countries such as Italy and Iran are in the middle of the battle. Elsewhere, the impact of COVID-19 is just beginning. It's so wonderful to have you guys tune in this morning. I've been thinking about you guys like crazy, praying for everybody. I hope that you're praying for us as well. I hope everybody is praying for everybody, man. That's what church family is all about. So happy to be here this morning. So glad that you guys are all tuning in in your living rooms and in your kitchens and in your bathrooms or wherever you're watching this morning. Happy Easter. We are so happy to have you tuning in with us uh, this morning on the greatest day of the year for every believer. And man, this is my favorite day of the year. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Cameron, which came first, in your opinion, the chicken or the egg? Mm, that is a very Spound good question. On that. Little doses, guys, that's what the label said. Oh, Finish strong, hair. boys. It's under my nail. This is big. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Don't Cameron. let him show you up, Zach Draper. Cameron, buddy. I don't don't let him show you up. Hey, King's House. Man, I just wanted to take a few minutes and uh, say hi to everybody. I hope you guys are doing good. I know it's crazy times. Um, I just want you to know that we are praying for you guys, thinking about you guys, S still available to you as much as we possibly can be. The presence of God was up in this place, and I hope you felt it in your homes, in your kitchens, wherever you were. I'm so jealous of you. I see all these pictures of everyone tuning in. Listen guys, it's a great opportunity to worship this morning. With From the ashes home is rising, the light is breaking through. He's taken all our broken pieces and making Something new
stand to your feet this morning and welcome the one and only Bradley Lawson. You want to go say hi to Spider-Man? You can. Go give Spider-Man a hug. Oh my goodness. spending a lot of uh, effort and energy trying to figure out how can we get the gospel outside of these doors. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the, the ultimate goal has been has been this that how can we love people outside of these walls? How can we be the, the actual hands and the feet of Jesus on a whole different level on a Sunday morning? So uh, we've had some conversations and um, so this morning I want to officially launch the campaign. The ultimate goal is that Loaves of Love is going to have a food truck and we are going to carry the love and the hope of Jesus Christ. And I don't know if this is the official name. I just wanted to throw it out there. Like, I thought Brady Set Go sounded kind of nice. Loads of love, Brady Set Go. So this morning, we are officially launching. Uh, I'm not saying it has to be next week, King's House, but I'm saying in the next six or eight months, I want a Loaves of Love food truck. I want this truck to go all over town, and I want this truck to love on people. And, and more than just fill a few bellies, man, I want to share the gospel with some people. So if you would like to give towards Brady Set Go, I just love that name. If you want to give towards Brady Set Go, uh, obviously you can give this morning just on your on, on your check. There's several ways to give. Here, here we go. Uh, on the Church Center app, you can text to give. Uh, give online. Obviously, you can give in person. But uh, uh, Mark, that sounds like a big, crazy dream. Uh, maybe we should be worried about other things during a global pandemic. And uh, uh, man, you might say I'm a dreamer this morning, uh, but I don't think I'm the only one. I think John Lennon said it best. And nothing that we've done as a church in the past two years has been possible or responsible or, and we just keep moving forward and God just keeps blessing us. So, hey, I got some faith this morning, King South. I don't know about anybody else, but this church is going to make a difference in this community in a huge way. And we're never going to stop and we're never going to slow down because that's the job of the church. Say amen, somebody. Man. Man. 